What's going on guys? So we're going to find out what happened if the NHL restarted the fantasy draft using NHL 24. This is of course my first fantasy draft in NHL 24, so I'm really excited to see where everyone's going to go, especially Connor Bedard. Now to choose a team here, I'm actually going to spin the wheel, see who we get, and who's it going to be? Obviously it doesn't matter too much for fantasy draft. Are you kidding me? I'm my Detroit Red Wing. Okay, so I get to be my favorite team, not too bad. And I just looked in the fantasy draft, guys, with the third overall pick. I would really like to keep that top five pick, but as always, I'm going to close my eyes here. Randomize it a bunch of times so you guys know it's legit. Okay, number two. Wow, behind the Rangers there. Again, curious to see where does Bedard go? Could McCarr go first? I know last year he actually did a couple times above McDavid. I'm excited to see what happens here. So first overall, it is the game's making us wait. It is Kale McCarr. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. So number two, we get Connor McDavid. Are you kidding me? Uh, the most obvious pick ever. I think that just shows, you know, the game really values the defenseman there. Got to check out the first round, though. What happened? So, Dreisaitl went three. Pasternak went four. McKinnon, five. Adam Fox, six. Matthews fell to seven. That is crazy. Uh, Kachuk. Bedard goes nine to the Montreal Canadiens. Okay. I honestly thought the high franchise potential, him already being 84, only 18. He might go top five, potentially even number one, depending, you know, how the AIGMs value him. You got Ranton in there, Kucherov, I'm surprised Ranton, probably just because he's younger. PD, Kaprizov, Hughes, Robertson. I mean, all of this makes sense for the most part. Um, how late could you get a guy, Michkov even at 25, okay. How late could you get a guy like Crosby or Ovechkin? Crosby, the last pick in the first round. Adam Fantilli there even, second pick in the second. You got Carlson. It's very interesting to see where all these guys are going. Have not seen Ovechkin yet. If he's available... We have to take him. Leo Carlson there even going in the second round. And yeah, guys, so I did not see Ovechkin. A duo of him and McDavid should be unstoppable. Uh, you have the best goal scorer of all time with arguably the most talented player of all time. If somehow this duo doesn't work for us, I feel like this game is broken. Um, at this point, though, we probably need defense. Brad Marchand, though, on that first line with them. Marchand, McDavid, Ovi. I mean, that just dominates the NHL, right? Is there a chance, you know, Carlson or Doughty would be available with our next pick? I honestly don't know, but I'm saying screw it. We're going to have the best first line in the league by far. No one's even going to be close. At this point, though, definitely need defense. I just saw Luke Hughes as well as Conrad Miller got taken. Malkin was still there. Dang, so we could have taken, like, Dougie Hamilton and then got Malkin here to play on that first line. That would have been the better move, but Chris Letang's still available. Same with Spurgeon. Burns will probably be there for a bit. I'm going to go Chris Letang, highest rated. Obviously, this is drafting for one season, so we're not as concerned with potential age, things like that. Um, okay, so Spurgeon's still there. I kind of like Brodeen, though. Uh, a bit more defensive on that top pair with Latang. I feel like, too, he's got a bit better of a contract than Spurgeon. So we have our first line. We got our top D pair. Still do need goaltending. Brent Burns is available. Ryan O'Reilly be great on the PKs. Be our second line center. Bobrovsky's still there. Same with Markstrom. Flurry. If we can get one of those guys for the next pick, I think that's okay. So who do we think goes next? Probably O'Reilly. Better contract. Six years younger than Brent Burns. So we get a great second line center. Again, a guy that can play power play for us, play PK. Brent Burns is still there. Patrick Kane's even still there. Uh, Markstrom, Obrovsky, okay. I'm definitely going to wait on goalie for now. I feel like there's enough good options available. It's pretty much between Brent Burns and Patrick Kane. In the first season of my Chicago Blackhawks franchise, Kane got signed by the Flyers and he popped off. Same rating here. He was an 86. I've lowered him. He's still a beast in franchise. Oh man, this is such a tough decision. I feel like who's going to have more of an impact? And I feel like it's Patrick Kane. So we're going to go Patty Kane here. If Burns is available, I'm going to take him with the next pick. I think I might have saw his name there. Uh, yeah, he got taken. Giroud, though, is still available. Oh, my goodness. With him and uh, Ryan O'Reilly, we'd have two of the best face-off takers in the league. Oh, man, it's so hard to say no to that. I think I have to take Giroud. I feel like we get, you know, some decent wingers. Maybe Giroud's honestly the second line. Center O'Reilly would be the third line. Uh, you still have Zuccarello at this point. Blake Wheeler. Fleury's still there as well. Do we give Fleury another chance at a Stanley Cup? You know what? I don't usually take goalie this quick, but I'm going to take Marc-Andre Fleury. So we've got our starter. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Next here, let's see. Perron, Wheeler, McDonough's there. Uh, Dumoulin, we get Klingberg if we want him. He, of course, could help with that second power play unit. I think there's like a lot of 84 wingers. Wheeler's really old. Let's take Klingberg here. Uh, next pick's going to be probably another defenseman. Wheeler is still there. Dumoulin, a solid defensive defenseman. I think he pairs up perfectly with Klingberg. He's left-handed. Klingberg's right-handed. At this point, though, if Wheeler's still there, we have to take him. Just, yeah, too much value. 85 overall, a good playmaker. Same with Perron. If Perron's available in the next round, okay. I mean, these guys are both better. Backstrom, even, um, could be in our top six. Good playmaker. We just play him on the wing for sure because 
Our signs, of course, are so good. Let's take a look here. Four star puck skill, three and a half star shooting. Perron's got four and four. Backstrom's also got a much worse contract. Maybe we take Perron here and potentially Backstrom is still available with our next pick. Again, uh, just do that $9 million contract. And he is, okay. So obviously we don't care about contracts right now. We can almost take Martinez maybe to be on our bottom pair. 84 overall, great shot blocker. I think this team's turning out very, very good. Look at that, Nick Backstrom. Okay, I'm glad I waited on him. So messed up a little bit early taking, you know, Barshan there. We could have waited, got Malkin, but definitely made the right move to wait on Backstrom. At this point, we need one more defenseman, uh, preferably a right-handed guy to play with Martinez. That feature here would not be bad at all, but there are a lot of other defensemen available. So I'm thinking Alex Kalorn, a uh, solid two-way guy, can play third line, can play PK. Look at that, Petrie's still there. Schultz is too. I kind of like Petrie more though, more physical on that bottom pair. So at this point, I think all we need is like a couple fourth line forwards and a backup goalie. I'm definitely waiting till our last pick for that backup goalie. So uh, Backlund, are you kidding me? Fourth line center, the newest captain of the Calgary Flames. We'll do that, easy pick. And then uh, final pick here guys for forwards. I mean, TJ Oshie, he's got an X factor. Defense awareness is kind of low. If we did want more of a defensive player, Thomas Tatar. 88 awareness and stick checking. I think I forgot to change him from a sniper to a two-way forward though. Actually guys, look at this. Jordan Stahl is available. Are you kidding me? One of the best defensive forwards in the league. I think at this point, we just throw back them on the wing. We are set in terms of like, you know, PK, uh, two-way forwards. Now, uh, this next pick here guys, again, have to get a backup goalie. James Reimer's available. Newest member of the Red Wing. He's also the highest rated goalie, so I'm gonna take him there. Not gonna overthink it. Uh, at this point, though, guys, we're just gonna sim the rest of the draft. We're just gonna run these 20 guys. Injuries are off, so we don't have to worry about, you know, having any extras. And I mean, come on, guys. Look at this draft. Are you kidding me? Those top three picks, McDavid, Ovi, Marchand. If we don't at least go on a deep playoff run, this game's broken already. All right, guys, so next I'll show you the lines for this team. As I mentioned before, I think this team's absolutely stacked. No reason why we can't compete for a Stanley Cup. That first line, unbelievable. Ovechkin, McDavid, Brad Marchand. Like, are you kidding me? Of course, they get the plus five chem boost. Uh, you got Wheeler, Giroux, Kane on the second line. I actually noticed too, if I swap Kane Ovechkin, I get the plus four chemistry, which is new to NHL 24. So that's kind of cool to see, but obviously we're giving Ovi the first line minutes. Uh, back to them, third line, play with O'Reilly and Perron. That's not bad at all. Kaloran, Stahl, Backlund's got to be the best fourth line in the league. Defensively here, I think we're very solid as well. Brodeen, Letang, top pair. You got Klingberg, Dumoulin, second. Martinez, Petrie on the bottom pair. Goaltending-wise, of course, Flurry starting. Reimer backing him up. Uh, you look at the power play one. I mean, it's insane. Like, Marchano front. You got McDavid, Kane, passing the puck around. Letang, solid offensive defenseman. Ovechkin, of course, in his office. That's what he does. They're getting a plus five. Uh, power play two here you can see also not too bad i feel we got some good playmakers probably the one knock on power play two is the fact we only have a true sniper but i'm sure they'll figure it out uh four in power play one you guys can see also gets a plus four which is cool uh four in power play two there now next you look at the pk of course i drafted heavily with the pk in mind so that first unit you got o'reilly marchand two very good two-way forwards letang and brodeen they get the plus five um, second one there, you got Backlund, Giroux. With a couple former Penguins defensemen there, Dumoulin, Petrie. Third unit even, you got Stahl, Kaloran, Martinez, Klingberg. Like, I think the PK here looks very, very solid. So like I was saying, I really feel like there's no holes on that team. Uh, if you guys are here with the captain's C, it's literally just the first line. McDavid's wearing the C, Ovi Marchand there, both wearing A's. Now, before we get started with the Sim, I will show you guys our ratings here. Also, too, you can see uh, we're currently 5-1 in the preseason. Claude Giroux there's got nine points in six games. So I feel like this team should probably have like 95 plus offense. We'll see what it is here. Um, yeah, 99 offense, 93 defense, 85 goaltending. You guys can also see uh, the new Boston Bruins jerseys there in game. I'll also show you guys the way here as well. Kind of cool actually, Charlie McAvoy on that team. But like I was saying guys, we can start with the Sim now. Hopefully this team can make a cup run. Also to you guys, if you enjoy these fancy drafts, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Really helps me out. All right, guys, we're at the trade deadline right now with a record of 32, 26, and 4, which is only good enough for a wild card spot. We currently have 68 points. I thought this team was going to be doing so much better than that. I can't believe we're just, you know, fighting for our lives here. Brad Marchand, that was popping off. 81 points, 62 games. I'm sure for him to be doing that well, McDavid and Ovi are also putting up a ton of points. But uh, before we check all that, we'll send the end of the season where hopefully we'll find ourselves in a playoff spot. All right, guys, we're at the end of the season now with a record of 42, 35, and 5, which luckily is good enough for a playoff spot. 89 points there. We're actually third in the division. Looks like we're going to be playing the Lightning in the first round. Obviously, we'll have to take a look and check out their team. Brad Marchand had 110 points. Are you kidding me? Dude, absolutely popped off. Uh, we'll see McDavid over here, rest of the team. Ovechkin, 99, so one shy of 100 sucks. And then McDavid had 87. Are you kidding me? Brad Marchand put up 23 more points than McDavid, playing on his line. McDavid's getting the exact same amount of ice time except for the PK. 
All right, like how many shorthanded points did Brad Marchand have? He had one shorthanded goal and three shorthanded points. So yeah, it wasn't the PK time. How is McDavid doing so much worse than Marchand? Obviously, I'll take it. Like they're all producing pretty well. But I feel like McDavid Marchand's point production there should be switched. Kane still had 70 points on the second line. Giroux, 63. Wheeler, Latang, 50 plus. Basham in the 40s. Sam Perron. Overall, I think, you know, production wise, cannot complain aside from McDavid only having 87. Uh, Flurry there, 901, 322. Interesting. So, uh, save percentage goals against both aren't the greatest. Reimer actually a little bit better. And now, take a look at the entire league here, guys. Are you kidding me? David Pashnak had 72 goals. What? That is unbelievable. Uh, 110 points though. He's actually tied with Marchand. They completely swapped. He had 72 goals, 38 assists. Marchand had 38 goals and 72 assists for also 110 points. That's so funny. I think goals is the tiebreaker for Art Ross though, so Marchand kind of gets screwed. Uh, Kucherov on a three. Suzuki 100 playing with Pashnak. Crosby there 99. Same with Ovi. Stammer, Ranton, Matthews. So goals obviously. Yeah, Pashnak 72. No one's even close. Dude was averaging almost a goal a game. That is ridiculous. I mean. He put up almost 400 shots. Like, I think Ovechkin has the highest shoot pass attribute. Let me see, Ovechkin shots there, 290, yeah. Pashnak somehow had 100 more shots than Ovi, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I'll take a look defenseman next here. Fox 94 popped off of the Avs, so they always have a great defenseman, doesn't even matter. It was a, wait, and then McCarr went number one to the Rangers. They literally traded Fox from McCarr one for one. How funny is that? Now looking at goalies here, guys. Skinner, Bobrovsky, each had 42 wins. Same percentage, of course, goes to Bobrovsky, 938. Actually, I think there's a glitch happening because what the heck? All right, so it showed Bobrovsky having a 938 save percentage, which is insane. Like he had an incredible year there with Montreal Canadiens. Sort by save percentage, he's not there. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, goals against, who had the best for a starter? John Gibson, 248 is what it shows. But Bobrovsky here at a 205. So his numbers were so good, they're literally not showing up when you sort it by either of them. That's pretty funny. And finally here, guys, checking out Rookie Scares. We'll see if Conor Bedard wins the Calder. 71 points, minus 17. I mean, are they really going to give it to, like, Cooley, who is minus 13 worse, but still a minus? Bobby Brink with 43 and plus 12. I feel like it's got to go to Bedard. I am curious to see, like, what they come up with, though, in terms of the awards. And now looking at the entire league here, guys. Philadelphia Flyers, of course, won the President's Trophy. So dominant there, uh, with Pashrak having 72 goals. Uh, five teams had 100 plus. Where were we in the entire league? We were 16th. Wow. So we actually like just squeaked in with what I thought was a very stacked team. So Maple Leafs there finishing in last. Again, very surprised um, by the results. Uh, before we do start the playoff sim here against the Lightning, we got to take a look at that team and uh, see how we match up. All right, guys. So on their first line, they got Forsberg, Stutzla, Fiala. Very nice first line. Not as good as ours though. Brown, Kadri, Hall, Domi, Sagan, Bly, Gregor, Tierney, Greer. Defensively, Ekholm, Truba. Defense is really kind of rough. Goaltending, they got Hellebuck starting though. Okay, so I feel like our team's a lot better. They do have the goaltending advantage, but that's literally it. So um, I like our odds. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. So here we go, guys. First two games are in Tampa. 4-2 win, we take that. And 3-2 win, all right. Maybe we can head home here to Detroit, finish off a sweep, 3-1 loss, 4-3 OT win. Have to win one more game here. And then, oh, okay, yeah, it was a little delayed. Game five, we won seven to two. And around number two here, we're gonna play the Florida Panthers, okay. So Florida's got Duchesne, Dreisaddle, and Nylander on the first line. That's nasty. Uh, second line's like decent, nothing crazy. Honestly, the rest of their forwards are pretty average. Uh, they got Hedman though, number one defenseman. Very good defensive depth. Most of those guys are like 85 overall or higher. Gibson's their starter. All right, so they got a stacked first line, really solid defense. Goaltending that was equal to us. I think both Gibson and Fleer 85s. So I like our odds again. You can see McDavid leading playoff score, seven points in five games. Hopefully he can like kick it up a notch, really look like McDavid in this next series. So first two games are in Florida. Back to back OT losses. That's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Are you we lose game three as well? So do or die, have to reverse sweep them if we want to move on to the conference final. And no, we get swept by that Florida Panthers team. That's unreal. And the playoffs are now complete, guys. The Vancouver Canucks win the Stanley Cup. Uh, EA loves their Canucks. Even when it's a fantasy draft, they always sim so well. Dallas there, gonna pick first overall, get uh, Macklin Celebrini, obviously it's fantasy draft though. So pretty relevant. Uh, playoff scores there, Patty Kane, 12 points in nine games. He actually showed up for us in the second round. Let's see how everyone else did. Marchand had a point per game. David went from seven and five to eight and nine. So he had one point in the second round series. That is ridiculous. How did he slow down that much? 
Um, take a look at Flurry here. He had a 904, 302. Not terrible, but you're probably not going to win the Stanley Cup with it, which is evident with us getting swept in the second round. Uh, Vancouver actually beat the Florida Panthers in the Stanley Cup final. So first they beat the Blues in seven, the Sharks in seven, and then the Avs there in five. And now finally here, you guys are going to take a look at the awards. Just see, you know, who won what. I feel like the team awards, we know all of those. Individually here, Pashnak does get the Art Ross Trophy. Also won the heart and he had 72 goals. Dougie Hamilton, James Norris on that Flyers team. They were so stacked. Uh, Pashnak also got Lady Bing. Calder Trophy that went to Connor Bedard. Jeff Skinner got the Conspy with the Canucks. Okay. Uh, Gibson got the Vesna over Bobrovsky. Interesting. I didn't even really notice Gibson on the stat sheet. He did have William Jennings though. Okay. Uh, Lowe's hung there, but Masterson with the Leafs. Arizona coach Jack Adams, Barkov, Selkie, Pashnak, Ted Lindsay, as well as the Mauritius Shard. I think Pasta there had five awards, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. I actually totally missed. Philly was so stacked. I didn't even notice what happened to them in the playoffs. They got knocked out in round two there by the Carolina Hurricanes. So kind of just like us, they get screwed over by the uh, EA playoff sim, which seems to be, you know, as it always is. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did enjoy it, leave that thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that sub button for more Angel 24 videos. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.